with the Chi Channel. This is my nephew Maddox. We are getting ready to go with some goats. We have to wash our hands first to make sure they're really clean because we don't want any bacteria on those goats. You about ready? What do you think? Okay. Should we be like doctors and hold our hands up all the way over there? What do you think? We'll hold our hands like this? All the way over? That's the way the doctors do it. Okay, ready? Let's go. Okay, let's hold them up. Hold them up. Hold your hands up. Come on. Let's go. We should have had somebody waiting with towels, huh? Here we are with Margie. Margie had a baby a little over a year ago. She's still producing milk. We're ready to get the milk. Maddox, did you want to help me with this? No? Whoa. You were so excited. You were so excited about milking the goat. I was so excited. That's why I wanted to wait. <laughs> okay, are we ready? All right. You know, I've never done this before either. So we're going to sit on this stool, and then we have to take a hold of her. Oh, well, okay. Oh, no. The other, <laughs> the other is trying to eat her food. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What you better do is get excited about milking a goat. Dang it. Come on, let's go milk that, milk that goat. Come on, Margie. Let's get up here. Get out of there. <laughs> Come on, Margie. Good girl. You too. All right. Let's try this again. You too, knucklehead. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, don't say that. Knucklehead. I got hard heads. Hey. Okay, hey. You, <laughs> you got to get her for the sweet beans in this No, get your foot out of there. Okay. I'm not doing this right. Bench it and squeeze. And she stuck her foot in here. You want to rinse the bucket? All right, it's going back up instead of down. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. Shoo Bench it. Squeeze. Shoo. Shoo bee. Look, Maddox. Look, milk. I couldn't do it. I got it started now. You can go ahead. Okay. Here, you get in here. Oops. He probably won't be able to do it, Mary. Shoo bee. Can. No, he's not strong enough to do it. He's got some coming. Oh, okay. Miguel, I thought we were going to do it with... Uh, oh, no. Maddox, Maddox decided he didn't want to do it. I can squeeze it off up top. Pinch it off here with these two thumb and forefinger, and then squeeze. Okay. Okay. Look at that. Okay, get the other hand in there. Pinch it and squeeze it. Pinch it and squeeze it. Like a pro. Hey, he's able to do this better than I was. It's sometimes hard to get her started. Once she get once she gets flowing, mm -hmm. then it's then it moves a little faster. Squeeze hard, you're not gonna hurt her. Hey, you're hurry. doing real well with this. She's almost done with her food. And then she's going to beat Pete on you. You see that? See how it's happening? Don knows how to do this. He's going to finish her off because we were having a hard time. Now you... I don't, I don't have strong hands to do that. Yeah, but it's fun watching it, isn't it? The guy could hold my muscles. You could. Do you have muscles like mine? Look at my muscles. Don does this all the time. He's good at it, isn't he? Hi, I'm Sean, and I am Mary Kay's nephew. And uh, this was my first experience milking a goat as well. So, Mary Kay. <laughs> all of us together. I personally didn't milk the goat. Can you tell me? What did it feel like milking the goat? I felt inadequate. I wasn't able to do it. 
Iggy, <laughs> can you like, tell us it, a little bit? Is it like bit? tough? Is it skin? Is it slimy? Is it? It's not slimy. It's no. Not no, slimy. it's not slimy. It's it like, just it felt like skin. Uh, yeah, it felt like skin. Like so. Stand over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you turn face the camera. <laughs> so was it, it? It took a lot of strength, or was it like easy? Um, I guess it was kind of easy. You just had to like squeeze in and pinch and yeah. squeeze. Yeah, pinch, yeah. pinch okay. and squeeze. squeeze. Pinch and squeeze yeah. and pull. No, no, just, and, and pinch. Just, just pinch and just squeeze. Pinch and squeeze it. Oh, like no kidding. Balloon, full of water, poke a hole in it, you just squeeze it up. Like a water balloon full of water. Yeah. That's cool. And uh, it really, how, how long do you think it took to get maybe a quart? That's what we've got here, about a quart. Uh, probably three minutes. Three minutes. And how often, how often do we have to milk the goat? Twice a day. No, really? Twice, Twice a day? Twice a day. Okay. So you get about a half a gallon a day of milk. Wow. And now, so if you don't milk the goat, is it a thing where, you know, it just kind of gets bigger and uncomfortable and it ends up being bad for the goat? Or it just kind of like, uh, it just it's not a necessity. It's kind of a You can tell this demand. person has never been a mother. Yeah. <laughs> just like a mom. I've tried <laughs> breastfeeding my child and nothing. nothing. Just, just, like a, just like a mother. Uh -huh. As if she doesn't uh, use a breast pump or breastfeed her child, she gets uncomfortable, she gets, it hurts, and she will lactate and leak by herself. And becomes and irritable and talks back? Pretty much. <laughs> Are we speaking from experience here? No. <laughs> becomes irritable and talks back. <laughs> and, uh, Maybe we should get Haya in here with the, the two-month-old baby and let us know the story. I wish Haya would have done it, so that way we could, we could get a comparing, uh, well, it's much easier to milk, milk the mom than it is the goat. You know, or... <laughs> uh, you better be careful, you're cutting off thin eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sean is a proud new daddy of yes, a two-month-old. I am. <laughs> And Miguel is the older brother? No, I don't. Well, I don't milk not myself. Closely enough involved with the situation. Yeah, I'm batting zero. <laughs> hey. hey, what? I can see two black ones. Oh, okay. We'll see the chickens in a minute. There's chickens over here too, folks. Yeah. Next, we're gonna move over to the chickens. We don't milk them though. No. No, we just get eggs. <laughs> And we have green eggs and brown eggs that Don and Pat brought over last night really? that we're going to have for breakfast when we're done here. Really? Green eggs? Yes. You didn't see them? No. They're in the refrigerator at home. Awesome. We have to take the milk in now, and we have to strain it, and we'll have milk. We have ham? No. I, well, I have ham for Easter Sunday. Green um, eggs and ham? Is that where you're yeah. going? Oh. <laughs> no, no Dr. Seuss today. Okay, so uh, <laughs> let's go and check out the chickens. Okay. Let me take this milk in. A coffee filter that has a very fine screen in it, as you can see. And this uh, screens out any hair or any, like, hay sometimes gets in there. And it screens all that out, takes all the impurities out of the milk. And if you tilt the coffee filter, you can basically pour the milk right into the jar. We're using a glass jar because glass stores better than plastic or anything else. And these are, uh, are, are uh, just came out of the dishwasher. And we use the heat setting to sterilize the glass. These are canning jars is what they are. And then we use a canning lid with a seal. Place that on top. And the lid ring. Screw it down. Marker. And then we take and we write, write the date and the time. This is 422 and AM. The AM milking. And then we place it in the, in the refrigerator and cool it down. Uh, you can also pasteurize the milk by bringing it to 180, 180 degrees, and then taking it right off the stove and letting it cool. You don't want to pour the hot milk into a, into a jar until it's cool, so you want to cover it with some cheesecloth or something to keep anything out of it, and then pour it in a jar and cool it down in the refrigerator. And this is good unpasteurized for about for about five to seven days. Uh, pasteurized will last a little bit longer than that. 
and you can make cheese, yogurt, uh, various kinds of cheese out of it. It's uh, quite tasty.